Have you ever paused to consider the geometry that surrounds us in our everyday life? We all know the common shapes, the perfect circles, the sharp-edged squares, the equilateral triangles. But, what if I told you there's more to geometry than meets the eye? Beyond the rigid lines and angles lies a softer, more organic realm of shapes, known as soft cells. Intriguing, isn't it? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into a hidden world of geometry, where straight lines and sharp edges give way to curves and smooth deformations. So, what exactly are these soft cells we mentioned earlier? Well, if you think of the geometric shapes you're familiar with, like squares, triangles, and circles, they all have well-defined edges and points. But now, imagine shapes that are a little bit more… flexible. Soft cells are shapes that have curved edges and smooth deformations. They're less rigid than the traditional geometric shapes we're used to, and they can morph and change in a fluid, dynamic way. This is a huge contrast to the fixed, static nature of classical shapes. Picture shapes that are more like bubbles, or the way water flows. These are shapes that can bend, twist, expand, and contract. They can adapt to their surroundings and they can fill space in interesting and complex ways. These are soft cells, the hidden, flexible side of geometry that we find all around us. They challenge our understanding of form and shape and open up a whole new world of possibilities. Now that we know what soft cells are, where can we find them in nature? As it turns out, soft cells or shapes with curved edges and smooth deformations are far more prevalent in the natural world than one might initially think. For instance, let's consider the cells within our bodies. The cells that make up muscle tissues are a prime example of soft cells with their flexible membranes allowing for movement and contraction. Moving on, let's consider the realm outside our bodies. Have you ever picked up a seashell and admired its smooth curved shape? That's another example of a soft cell. The intricate spirals and curves of these shells are not just appealing to the eye, but they also serve important biological functions, such as providing protection and structure for the organism within. Beyond the microcosm of our bodies and the macrocosm of seashells, soft cells can also be found in a multitude of other organic structures. Look at how the petals of a flower curve gently to form a blossom, or how the wings of a butterfly fold and unfold with ease. These are all instances of soft cells at work. So why does this matter? Well, these soft cells are not just random occurrences, they are indicative of the underlying geometric principles that govern the natural world. They demonstrate how nature, in all its complexity, is still bound by certain geometric rules and structures. It's amazing to see how often these soft cells appear once we begin to look for them. How does the traditional mathematical geometry we know relate to these soft cells? Let's delve into this fascinating discourse. When we think of geometry we often envision precise shapes like triangles, squares, and hexagons. These forms, with their flat faces and straight edges, are the building blocks of our mathematical understanding. But nature, ever the maverick, throws a curveball at our rigid geometric expectations. When you look closely, natural forms are dominated by soft cells with curved edges and smooth deformations. Instead of conforming to the flat faces of traditional geometric tilings, nature embraces the complexity of curves and non-flat surfaces. Consider the intricate shell of a snail or the delicate petals of a flower, they defy our classical geometric understanding, yet they are undeniably geometric. They are testament to the prevalence of soft cells in nature. In the grand scheme of things, it seems that nature opts for a more fluid, adaptable form of geometry. It leans into soft cells, favoring their flexibility and resilience. This choice isn't arbitrary. It reflects a fundamental principle of nature, that of adaptation and survival. So in the face-off between traditional geometry and nature, who wins? Well, it's not a competition, but a harmonious coexistence. They offer us two different lenses to appreciate the world around us. Clearly, nature has a different approach to geometry than our textbooks. It's a reminder that there's always more to learn, more to explore, and more to marvel at in this incredible universe of ours. So, where do these soft cells come into play in our world? The realm of biology is one of the most intriguing stages for soft cells. These supple shapes can be observed in our very own bodies, from the undulating forms of muscle tissue to the curving structure of various cellular components. This soft geometry provides a framework for understanding how biological entities form, grow, and function. It's as if nature has been whispering the secrets of soft cells to us, through the language of our own biology. But the dance of soft cells is not confined to the microscopic world. Their influence extends to the grand canvas of art. 
artists, inspired by the fluidity and grace of these shapes, have brought them to life in their creations. Sculptures, paintings, and architectural designs bear the mark of soft cells, presenting a different perspective of the world around us. It's like seeing the world through a kaleidoscope of curves and undulations, a testimony to the creative possibilities that these shapes inspire. The fusion of science and art, the practical and the aesthetic, makes soft cells a unique and fascinating subject. They are a testament to the beauty of nature and the unlimited potential of human creativity. They help us decode the complexity of life and add a touch of elegance to our creations. The versatility and adaptability of soft cells make them a fascinating subject for study and exploration. So, what have we learned today about this hidden world of soft cells? We've explored the fascinating realm of soft geometry, a world that's as fluid and dynamic as life itself. A world that's not confined to rigid lines and sharp angles but thrives on curves and smooth deformations. Soft cells are not just abstract concepts confined to the realm of academia, but they're all around us. They're in the gentle curve of a shell, the complex structure of our muscle tissue, and in countless other organic structures. They are the building blocks of life, shaping our world in ways we often overlook. We've discovered that the world is not simply a mosaic of triangles, squares, and hexagons, but a rich tapestry of soft cells. Nature, it seems, prefers the elegance of curves and smooth deformations. This prevalence of soft cells in nature is not merely a coincidence, but a testament to the efficiency and adaptability of these shapes. The world of soft geometry has practical implications too. In biology, understanding the structure and behavior of soft cells can provide insights into how our bodies function. In art, these shapes inspire creativity and open up new possibilities for expression. But perhaps the most profound takeaway from our exploration is an appreciation for the beauty and elegance of soft geometry. The smooth curves, the fluid forms, the inherent flexibility of these shapes, all contribute to their aesthetic appeal. Soft cells are not just functional, they are beautiful too. So let us not limit our understanding of geometry to rigid shapes and sharp angles. Let's embrace the fluidity and dynamism of soft geometry. Let's appreciate the soft cells that shape our world, from the smallest microorganisms to the vast landscapes. Next time you see a shell, a leaf, or even your own hand, take a moment to appreciate the soft cells at work. Geometry is not just about sharp angles and straight lines, it's as fluid and dynamic as life itself.